Folks, it's Sunday afternoon. Welcome aboard to the Margu campaign, Murder Hobo Inc.'s tri generational uh, campaign with a whole lot of frankness going on. Uh, welcome aboard. Thanks for watching us. If you're new here, you're in for a real treat. If you've been here before, welcome back. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, uh, hit us up in our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, like, oh, a cool phone case or whatever uh shower curtain you know if you want something like that uh check out our shop uh thanks to our sponsors pirate dog dice for dice that didn't kill the campaigners sadly enough uh but are doing a nice job against these guys and against me uh as well as oddfishgames.com if your game stinks uh pick up some of their adventure scents because it'll make it smell a whole lot better uh except for putrid sewers don't pick that one up that one's going to kyle uh let's go ahead and introduce the folks and then we'll go ahead and catch you up we still have one late arrival who will be along shortly we will start with the youngest member of the group shadow man man uh, i'm the guy from the news who was always like what are those people when you like they like black them out yes you're the uh undercover informant yes uh i saw him he was walking down the street late at night didn't know what he's doing he attacked me uh i am bum -ba -da -bum, man fang a dragonborn who's got an axe and a big old scar and an, hates charisma an axe to grind uh next up is jason jason who you playing uh copious full bitters the third gnomish wit gnomish witch uh, and captain of uh, the Piscator turtle war vessel. I'm sorry, was that witch or bitch? Both. Now he's he not did. in prison yet. <laughs> yeah, you get sorry. I'm getting ahead of the game. Getting ahead of the game. Come on, we still got an hour before that happens. Uh, AJ, you're up next. I'm AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the human rogue. And I feel like my character is getting dumber as this campaign goes on, based on what happened last week. You hear that? Nobody's disagreeing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Silence. The uh, the uh, pinnacle of RPG names is up next. Haggis of Crapstain. Tell us about yourself. Do I do I really need an introduction? It's Haggis of Crapstain. Plus five dexterity, so look out in bed. <laughs> 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 Yay! Uh, I, I'm glad you'll be playing a lot with us because you're about to get your ass grounded. I think. <laughs> Is his mother home? <laughs> he is, yeah. Oh, I think you've been reading the wrong material. Because let me go ahead and text her now. <laughs> That's all right. Grandma said she'll call you when the game's over. And last but certainly not least, the senior member of the staff, Frank Senior. I, I got nothing to say. I'm playing <laughs> Leaf, the very happy druid right now. <laughs> you are going to get beat. <laughs> uh, folks, if you missed it last time, these guys went into a fun house, a.k.a. Smuggler's Den, to recover an item that would help the smuggler chieftain that they've been dealing with uh, pay off them to purchase some of their ill-gotten and rightly gotten gains. Coronado Diego uh, gave them the key to get into this place and they encountered a multitude of bizarre events, shall we say, including a lot of thrown chairs by the party. They did, however, make it to the end. They have recovered the uh, box, which I believe is a wooden box, inlaid with something. Uh, and you have reached the starting point, courtesy of Copious Vol Bitters, who is in possession of said box. Haggis of Crabstain uh, did wander off the beaten path and was nearly killed by ice methods uh, before he was yanked back into reality. Gang, you guys are in the initial room of the funhouse. The door to the exterior has reappeared. Uh, folks, uh, these guys did kind of set a small to immense fire in the adventurer's quarter, which is where they are at. They are in the city of Fatar, the total capital. Uh, it is bisected by a river and two bays. Uh, so there's a lot of water here. They need to get to the northeast corner 
of Fatar. They are in the south central portion, 77th Precinct for you in LA. Uh, gentlemen, what would you like to do? I'd like to set the record straight. It wasn't we set a fire. <laughs> it was Robert who set a fire. A pyromaniac. Well, that is true. Uh, but one for all, all for one, I think is uh, the yeah, one. Yeah. I think weeks of playing, uh, anyone who's watched these episodes knows there's no such thing. We are not Mouseketeers. No. No, you are not. No. Uh, here's a question. Do you want what's behind door number one, or you want to go for door number two? No. Uh, no, it's not uh, 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 and I uh, just went through door number two and magically reappeared again. Yep. Thank okay. the D and D gods for that one. Well, let's get let's the hell, get out, the hell out, here, out of this fun house and back on back into like a normal area. We're we're in the middle of a gang war, so before we open the door and try to rush through, maybe we should go ahead and identify someone who can sneak out the door and make yep. sure the coast is clear first. We need a snake. Who's our best snake? I don't know, Mr. Plus Five Dexterity over there, maybe, but uh-huh. I would volunteer. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Let's bid down anything we can. I think that's more like crap stain anymore. <laughs> uh, who do both of you want to go out or just we can, we can we can we can go together if you sure. Oh, yeah, tag, tag team that together. shit. <laughs> Anybody know what time of the day it is? They're going to get stuck in the No door. idea. Not a clue. Nope, you certainly don't. Uh, you guys are meeting uh, Coronado Diego at sundown, if I'm not mistaken, at the old farmhouse, correct? Yes. <clears throat> at the old farmhouse, you have a riding lizard and one gnome of questionable personality, correct? Yes. We don't, uh, we don't have him, but he's there. You hope. Uh, and then uh, also for the folks at home, Haggis uh, took a leave of absence for a few weeks. He had been left on the ship, uh, the Pistorus, as the captain, but accidentally magically reappeared with the group. Uh, the Pistorus is currently in a small bay in the estuary. And these guys learn from the now beheaded uh, individual. Uh, what was his name? Uh, Aruba Tuba. Uh, that uh, Tabaxi smugglers were headed into that general area in the morning. Uh, so we're on a TikTok deadline. Uh, Felix Hagas, you open the door. First off, give me stealth rolls to see if you guys can sneakily open the door. 19. 14. There you go. Uh, Felix had the better roll, so his head comes out on top. Haggis's comes out on the bottom. You peer out. Uh, there are several fires, and there are also skirmishes going on between the two smuggler groups. Uh, it is what you would refer to as chaos, and whistles are heard coming over the giant... Uh, tortoise shell bridge it would appear the fuzz is also going to join in the fray felix and haggis would you like to try and sneak out uh yeah first i want to note what time of day it is now that we can see it <clears throat> the sun is starting to set perfect good timing uh yeah i'm gonna look for maybe some <clears throat> sort of escape path shadows something along those lines Something uh, well, kind of away from the chaos. Ooh, that's going to be difficult <laughs> because chaos is everywhere. You guys are currently right there and you need to get there. Uh, as the fighting uh, seems to be a constant struggle, the guards are coming from, of course, this region and spreading out. You will have three different opportunity or three different avenues for escape if you guess correctly. So uh, from your generalized location, the smoke pluming off the wooden buildings that are still burning, the normal folk trying to put out the fires and the smugglers uh, fighting each other, Felix Haggis, 
you can see three avenues of escape. The main road, the cutting through the courtyard, or the going around by the river area. Copius will already have told you that there is a net here, and you can surmise a net there uh, to stop intruders. I, I don't like the idea of going across the river, but I also don't like the idea of going directly across the bridge without a better distraction. I don't know what kind of better distraction we'll get than chaos is raining down everywhere around us. And there's a bunch of guards in the way. Let's go ahead and add one more wrinkle to this one. Haggis, Felix, give me a perception check. If they're not moving, I'm going to be like pushing them to get out the door. I'm like, we got to get moving. Would you guys go? I'm going to roll a dirty 20. <laughs> uh, both of you scan the perimeter. Uh, in the burning ruins of the <laughs> tavern establishment that you were at, a scorched figure with half of his face melted is pushing a ballista around the side of the building. You recognize this individual as Esperanda El Jefe, uh, or as Copius knew him, Tim the Enchanter. Uh, he is pushing a ballista, and at the same time, with a 19, he spots you, and he begins to crank and crank and crank. <laughs> I'm going to very quickly relay what I see to my party members. In other words, holy shit, he's going to shoot at us. We got to go. <laughs> and I think let's make a beeline for the uh, main bridge. So this, this particular path? That's the one. Okay, let's see which way the guards are coming, shall we? Uh, the whistles echo off the sides of the building. The smoke and flames seem to put a damper on it. You can give me a uh, insight check if you want to see if you're headed in the right direction, but it'll have to be very high. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, that's is that is that for all of us? Insight? Nope, just oh, him. Just him. Okay. Well, if you guys all want, if you guys are leaving the building, I thought we were all going. Unless I'm mistaken, bitters. We were just having them stick their heads out because they're the stealthiest of the group. But if if Felix is screaming, we need to go. I'm assuming we're all pal. That's what I thought I'm too. If he's screaming, they're going to shoot us. We got to go. I'm running. Okay. Uh, Manfang, Leaf, and Copious, give me perception checks, please. Uh, 19. 16. 22. All three of you uh, see Tim the Enchanter. <laughs> He's going to shoot that thing at you guys. <laughs> you said half his face is melted or does it just look burned? Burned. Does he look okay. like, uh, what's okay. that one What's that one guy from Batman? Uh, Two-Face. Two-Face. Two -face. Yeah, Two -face. he looks like Two-Face. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, on your map, where is he at with the ballista compared to the way that uh, Felix is running? Okay. <laughs> and so he can shoot Felix wants to go this way, right? Now yes. I will take insights uh, from everybody else to see if you guys can tell which, um, which of the avenues the guards are taking. 18, no, 20. 20 is good. Manfang? Oh, sorry, here, let me. What are we rolling uh, for? In, insight. Insight, oh. So, oh, it's plus, plus three. Uh, 19. Very nice. Insight. Haggis, did you ever roll for insight? I got a seven. Okay, you don't know. Uh, Copius doesn't know. Nope. Uh, Felix doesn't know. Manfang and Leaf. Uh, they're coming up behind you. You need to get. <laughs> they are coming through Avenue 3. I'm going to yell to guys, the guards are behind us. We got to go. So you guys are going to take this avenue here and across the bridge, correct? Yes. Yeah. 
And when we come around the back of the building, I want to dodge to the right, uh, move to the right to get out of uh, Mr. Ballista's. Uh, or two face. Sure, that'll work. Uh, anybody who keeps an eye on uh, the smuggler can tell he is sliding it, trying to get a good angle, and he is going to go <laughs> after. Uh oh. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five. How about I roll the right die? Okay, fair enough. Uh, everybody hears the twang of the large ballista. Manfang, what's ah. your DC? Ooh, that's a 17. <laughs> what's your armor, Manfang? It should, uh, it, it was 18, but now since I took my turtle shell off, it's 16. Good. Man. Convince you to take that turtle shell off, and it's haunted you ever since, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it has. That's why you never listen to your colleagues. Uh, I should. I should. A large spear embeds itself into your one to two, three to four, five to six. Your torso, and you take ooh, two murder hobos and a two. Uh, you take 14 hit points, uh, I, and I, you have a spear sticking through you. Oh, God. My I, I'm going to have to stop and healing. Ow. Fair enough. Uh, you, yeah, let's keep it moving before so, you. When someone has, uh, someone has to pull it through. Someone has to pull it all the way through. No, you don't. We don't. Why do you, you wobble it up and down? That's how you take it. Out. <laughs> we have to put another. We have to put a dagger in to cut around to get it out. Yeah, we're carving a pumpkin. <laughs> uh, Leaf, you see the injury, the grievous injury to Man Fang, uh, and you run over to heal him, and you hear. <laughs> Oh, uh, copious, do it. copious Felix and Haggis, do you continue to serpentine through the chaos? So where are we Fang? at? Where where did Manfang catch it at? How where are we at? Did it hit a vital organ? Is what I would. Like I ain't to worried know. about on your body. I'm talking about around the building. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, I would. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, as you guys ran off. He got you right about there. So okay. if you circle back around, you can probably uh, take off. Now, point. if you run through the front, uh, there's a lot of pockets of people there that may be able to provide cover or new participation fighting. I'm going to heal him first. Yeah, I'd like to get this ballista spear that out of my side. Thir 13. Are you going to pull it through? Going to have to. Eh? <laughs> roll that damn. Roll that extra damn. Just wait. He's going to roll, and it's going to be like 18 splinters inside of my new hole. Well, it might be. Three more damage as they yank it through. Your eyes dilate, and How many did you hit me for? <clears throat> You're at 17 total now, man Fang. 17 okay. total, and I healed you for 13. Right, and that's math. I suppose probably means I just stopped it from bleeding. Yeah, I still got a giant hole in my side. It's like it looks like an innie. It's, like, have, it's yeah. like the cartoons. You can stick my you can stick your hands through my stomach. And now I have two first level spells left. Well, no second. No second. Who wants to roll against me first on the D12? What are we rolling against you for? To see if anybody spots you. <laughs> I'll roll. And just My to be rolls clear, been great. Haggis and Copious have little tiny legs. I didn't slow down when Man Fang got hit. <laughs> Every man for himself. Okay, Man Fang, give it a roll. <laughs> hey, no, he said to roll a die 12, not a die 4. I did look at it. Look at it there. Look at it there. <sighs> Very look at it nice. There. Uh, you are not spotted as you begin to serpentine your Damn. way. Damn. Uh, while Robert only started one fire, it seems that the shoddy workmanship, uh, because no professional guild exists in the adventurers' quarter, uh, has allowed the flames to flicker onto other buildings, igniting Oops. those Oops. tinder boxes as well. Who wants to? Uh, everybody roll a perception check. 
<laughs> Let's have a little fun here. 22. 21. 24. Uh, 22. 14. Uh, you guys are all running as best you can. Copious, you swear out of the corner of your eye, you spy the innkeeper holding several scrolls running parallel to you. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's on the scrolls. Got it. I'm going to scream. We need to get that guy. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, that would you take mean, you. You can get up and get shot by the ballista. I'm keeping running. You're, you're not going to yeah. get shot by the ballista. He's between crowds. He's going the other way. So, I don't care. I'm running. Uh, all of you here behind you, the guard whistles. So what? you're fairly confident there shouldn't be any guard engagements ahead of you. Well, Felix, we're about to be famous. Let's keep going. <laughs> Full steam ahead. So, so we aren't going like to go down the main steam. drag. I, go. I stopped it and said, "Let's. We need to get get that guy." I mean, I, leave no, no, no. Those are I'm headed. Scrolls. I've got man fang. We're headed for the bridge. I'm going for the bridge. Those scrolls are magic. We're missing an opportunity. Here. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're magic. Moves. All right. <laughs> You're about to be a star, bud. Just suck it up and. I said, Felix, Robert, and I are about to be stars. I'll make you a star. Uh, as you reach the main road, who is the second person to roll D12 against me? Oh, gee, I will. Jesus, I don't want to do it. Hopefully yours will be better than mine. Nine. Seven. Uh, the guards come flying down the main drag. However, they go sailing past you because oh, you're not chasing, chasing some guy with porn. Uh, not yet, but they're going to probably perpendicular his ass here around the other side of the building. Uh, you know what? Everybody give me a perception check. Let's see if you hear a big oh, oof. <laughs> 20 oh, 26. 11. Uh, oh. Lee and Beef and Copious hear a big oomph uh, and the falling of rolled up paper hitting the deck. That sounds like Robert. Come on. Come on, go into the main drag. <laughs> uh, to your right is the giant turtle shell bridge. To your left are guards and chaos. Go on to the right. All right. Okay. Uh, you run uh, as you reach the mouth of the bridge. On the far side, you see additional guards uh, thundering their way here, yelling out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. That's yeah, all right. We'll get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Keep running. Oh, I'm sorry. Who here speaks Tortle? <laughs> Ooh, oh. let me see. Not me, but I know how to get out of the way of somebody running at me that's a guard. That is true. Yeah, uh, but did we just step out of the way? Let it fire? Did we run some other direction because they're coming at us? No, no, no. I just dodge out of the way. I'm, I'm, I, you know, you got to understand that. Guards didn't bother us when Toronado, whatever the hell her name is, sent us over here before they we were working for her. They left us alone. I'm making the assumption they're still going to leave us alone because we're doing this for her. Of course, that was before we started a gang war and set fire to half the city. Uh, yeah. uh, Somebody started a gang war, not what us. Me? The, the what guards. Me? Go that way. <laughs> Yeah, ask, ask Holy Roller there. Slippery, <laughs> yeah, Slippery Dick the innkeepers the one that started all that shit. Yeah, I'm just going to get over out of the way. Uh, the guards thunder past you, uh, seemingly no care in the world. Uh, you don't really recognize them, um, so they aren't any of the ones that you've dealt with yet. You do make it to the far end uh, as the last rays of sun are beating down. As you reach the main... Uh, courtyard or plaza if you will you notice an unusual site remember all those trainees that were there when you got yeah them? yeah yeah there's a lot more of them uh it appears as though the sailors are getting ready to go somewhere uh you're gonna have to go around or risk cutting through the group i'd rather go around man guys what are you gonna go around Copious, okay. if you want to go back and get your pictures, man, go ahead. We'll we'll give you 15 minutes. <laughs> Number one, I don't believe you. Number two, <laughs> number two you got to catch up to me because once we made a decision, Copious isn't stopping. 
Do you want to go oh, no. clockwise or counterclockwise? I think if we if we go to the right as we cross the bridge, we're going to be heading right towards the docks, which. That's not a good idea. Won't we go to the left yeah. and make our way up around the top? Okay. Do you want to go into the plaza? I think we need to avoid that plaza. Fair enough. Yeah, probably. We'll go along the river. Is that, I assume, can sure. we get in? Or, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, you guys can because that's how you got up here. Yeah, we could just meeting. retrace that path that we took before to get up there. Give me a wisdom check, Leaf. Oh, I'll do that. Or we cut cut back through the town and try to stick to the alley. 20? Uh, you're going to lose a lot of time taking a long way. Copious has a valid point in maybe cut through the town at some point in time. All right. Because the farmhouse isn't on the north side. And the sun's already going down. Okay. <laughs> so well, in what? A or B? I, I said, as likely. soon as we clear the... Go ahead and pick. Yeah, I was going to say, as soon as we clear the opening... <clears throat> oh, crap. Get back on the drag, main drag. Back, yeah, cut across the drag and start okay. heading to the, the east. Yeah, hard. All right. Fair enough. You head that way. Uh, since it is... Uh, De uh, daylight is fading away. The merchants are closing up their shops for the night and headed for the taverns. Uh, this location, if Felix and Robert could remember, was home to a multitude of taverns. Some sailors, experienced sailors, not those grunts in the plaza, are making their way into these locations. Who wants to see if there's a problem with them? D12. Jason, go ahead. Oh, Opious. okay. Your turn. Yeah, the failure is nine. Six. Ten. Uh, one of the guards looks at you, and who are they going to look at? The man with the hole in his chest? Yep, they sure do. That's a two. <laughs> uh, boy, what's wrong with you? Uh, it's just, you know, a disease. What it's kind of bad. disease? I'll speak up and say we Perfect. were a Swiss cheese Perfect. disease. Yeah, yeah. What's Swiss cheese disease? Uh, you've probably never heard of it. It's from a while away. It's not contagious. Though. It's a venereal thing. Yeah. Anybody yeah. figure this part out yet? These guys are talking common. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you realize that we understand them, so they, they're yeah. not turtle. So what, what, how'd you get Swiss cheese? disease uh we were on the other side of the bridge there's a riot over there boy where the smoke is yeah, that's the one well, that's too bad yeah huh. you uh ain't from around here are you uh no no we ain't gonna be around here much longer let's keep moving persuade me i'll do that i can persuade oh, I real good. oh i don't have no persuasion plus no, you do not. These guys uh, are 16. These guys are Welsh. Uh, one of their associates leans out. I couldn't tell because the accent kept changing eight. Like it changed from English, like Irish. The only one I really do regularly is Russian, and that's not very good he's, either. He's I barely really get out. English out. So Exactly. Uh, one of their associates inside is yelling that the dart tournament's starting, uh, and one uh, of them throws their arm around Man Fang. And says, "Oi, oi! I I give you two hundred gold pieces if I can show you off to my friends." Okay, cool. Come inside. All right. <laughs> Anything uh, for dude, me? Dude, I'm gonna tell Man Fang as he goes inside. We're going on out to the farmhouse. You're on your own. All right. I don't I know about make that. Felix That's what dart. Did Felix hear the words "dart tournament" is starting? He did indeed. <laughs> uh, you I'm know, dart sure tournament is like, kind of like gambling if you think about it. Or I'm sure there's I'm sure there's gambling in there. But it's also right. dart throwing is like gambling because you don't know where it's going to land. Ooh, shiny this is objects! Banged up right now too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you go ahead. We've got to we've got to be back out there at sundown to meet with what's her name. What? Wait, is it close to sundown right about now? Coronado. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost sundown now. We don't have time for this. Shit. <laughs> I'm just done. Man, thing. The chances of you not going in this building diminish with every passing second. I like the fact that Leaf is yelling this in front of the people who can speak common. <laughs> I don't care. At this point, it doesn't matter. We're running out of time. I ain't got time to play games with him. 
Procopius is moving stealthily around the crowd and heading down the alley towards the farmhouse. And just as a reminder, that's where everyone will party. I'm not speaking this. This is out of character. I'm the one with the box. So I'm heading out. Correct. So first off, Man Fang, 200 gold pieces just to uh, show you off. There might be some lady in there interested. Oh, they're not going to be interested. In to be a freak, diseases. but they'll be interesting. Yeah. You know, they'll, they'll you can call my... it, you can call it a gauge. You'll want to touch my hole. Exactly. If you're lucky, it may actually be a lady. And if your dexterity's high enough, who knows what could happen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, plus five. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm thinking about the uh, haggis there. Yeah, oh, man, Fang, you want to go in and earn uh, an easy 200 I'm... gold? Yeah, of course. Okay, Felix, uh, you're hearing money exchange and hands in there. I, I can't let him go in alone. <laughs> Fair enough. Copious, you continue to uh, leave in hot pursuit. Leaf, uh, what you want to do? I'm leaving. Hagas, what you want to do? Um, is that um, what what are you guys doing? Or what? Or no? What like what would be the best thing? <laughs> well, you got splits, okay? Uh, you got Leaf and Copious headed to the farmhouse. You got Man Fang and Felix uh, getting a little uh, suds. All right, I'll go with Mang Fang. <laughs> Man Fang? <laughs> Who's Mang Fang? Uh, Copious and Leaf, you head down the alley. You have to uh, cross a small open area uh, where it's kind of eh, crappy quarters. Uh, you got. What do you roll a d twenty? I'll roll a d twelve. Fifteen. Four. Uh, you make it there, uh, but you are greeted with an unusual set of circumstances. And while I let you know on that, the tavern is filled with a pungent smoke, which kind of dulls your senses. It's oh, very Jesus. spicy. The alcohol is flowing freely and the Welsh turtles uh, push you towards the center of the room, man, Fang, yelling oi, 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 and then some kind of gibberish that you do not understand. Clearly, he's speaking to the turtles and other reptilians in this bar. This so bar... He's... So he's speaking tortilish. <laughs> he's speaking tortilish. You also know that lizard folk are present in this bar. Uh, you're getting the feeling that this is probably a soccer pub in Wales, and there's only going to be a matter of time before a fight breaks out. However, there is a female lizard folk there covered in strange tattoos, and her tongue lashes out as you come in and apparently they are saying something about you and putting two fingers through the hole in your chest. Felix, uh, you touch my hole. <laughs> Felix, you notice two games of chance going on. One is darts in the back. Uh, the other is a dice game. Craps, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, that is Felix's weakness. <laughs> He's going to make a beeline for that craps table. Well, no, not a beeline, actually. I'm pretty banged up. I'm going to make a beeline. One of the turtles grabs you by the back of your collar and pulls you back a second. As you spin around, he heartily shoves a mug of crimson ale into your hand and then gives you a shove off. Haggis, uh, one of your friends is a sideshow oddity. The other one is about to maybe make some money. What would you like to do? You can go tell the uh, lizard chick with all the tattoos that you got a high dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> I come nowhere near the master. <laughs> the master of dexterity has arrived. I can, I can balance stuff. <laughs> do while while staying close things. to my party members, um, is anyone doing anything? Oh, like... no, no, no. Whoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, by, by looking around the room, is anyone doing anything, um, you know, like gnome dust or whippets? I don't know. Is any 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 illegal drugs, per se? D12 against me. That's a good question, because I'm guessing yes. You don't even need to roll. Yes. <laughs> there is a hookah pipe in the back corner where two turtles and a lizard person have some kind of brick of substance 
that they keep putting into their hookah pipe. Uh, they seem to be really chill about this point in time, but you're going to have to walk through the dart line. I walk through the dart line. It's going to get pricked. There's an 18. <laughs> He's now a porcupine. And there's a five. Uh, if you've ever watched YouTube pub videos where the drunken idiot stands next to the dartboard, that is you. You have a small dart in your forehead. It's going to do one hit point of damage, but you stagger over to the hookah pipe. Over at the old abandoned farmhouse, Leaf, Copious, you burst into the room and you see uh, Coronado Diego right there. Holding a knife to your associate, the gnome. Is he with you? Uh, <laughs> that depends. Come on, guys. <laughs> he is an associate of ours, but he's not part of our party. Let's no. describe it that way. We've been through so much. I can't believe you'd say it. <laughs> he's got an addiction to blue bananas. Uh, if he's done something to offend you, feel hey, free. Robert, how you doing? Hey, old party. Hey, hey, let me ask him the question. Hey, Robert, are you in a bar full of drunken soccer match turtles and Mr. Swiss cheese with your son and Felix and Haggis? Or are you at the farmhouse with me and Copious? Wait, let me give you a slightly different description. I'm pretty sure it's less a a soccer bar, and it sounds more and more like a Tijuana lizard show for Manfang. Yeah, I have a Swiss cheese disease. I have a, a blister went through my sock or through me, and I have a giant hole in my stomach. This is what so happens they, when you show up late. Yeah, this is what happens. <laughs> you missed a lot. Hog so you need to ask Haggis about his dexterity and what that's. Oh going yeah. To. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Mr. Five. five dexterity over there. Is going now, what sounds as good as yours, Frankie? Uh, my wife, totally my different theory. issue. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the question stands, uh, Robert. Uh, did you want to go into the Welsh soccer bar with the <laughs> smoke and the dart hanging out of Haggis's forehead, or did you want to go with Copious and Leaf to deliver the package so that you can get the hell out of the, the far tar? Even foosball odds delivery. I guess I'm going with the foosball. I knew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, when you walked in with the others, Manfang's been shot through the torso with a ballista, which got removed because the guy you thought you killed was not dead. Leaf uh, stopped and healed him, but not completely. So he's got kind of an innie. Uh, they ran into a group of turtle roughneck sailors who speak strangely common uh, and wanted him to go in for 200 gold pieces to be displayed as an oddity. Felix heard there was gambling inside and immediately caved to his desires. Haggis uh, wasn't really sure, uh, so he went in. Uh, he saw them smoking a hookah pipe in the corner walked through the dart line and got hit in the forehead with the dart. You are standing at the door watching all of this unfold, including the tattooed lizard chick looking at Man Fang like he's some kind of Hershey bar. And sticking out a tongue like Gene Simmons. Like the, <laughs> like the snake tongue kind of thing. Keep in mind, she's tasting you. Mm -hmm. Now, while you ponder oh, yeah. what she you're going to, to do, uh, Copious and Leaf, uh, what are you going to do about your... Uh, not party member gnome being held at daggers. Like, I'm going to oh, say, oh. what What did he do? He was here when we got here. Well, he was, that... he was supposed to wait on us. He, we've been using his lizard to haul our gear. Whew. He he kind of eases down her blade a little bit and then smart uh gives her a comment about, I told you so, but then bristles up uh, behind him is the young lady who you met initially and she is still dragging a dagger across his back uh speaking of the blue I'm job right of bananas <laughs> the riding lizard is asleep but farts loudly and it's noxious uh <laughs> well Diego, wait wait till he starts going well he's out of he's out of blue java good the, the damn riding lizard ate them all uh diego asks do you have what I need? I saw the smoke rising and I assumed that you were successful. 
so we, uh, I'll, I'll relate to her that we, we were successful in retrieving the box from the fun house. Uh, and I, I would just assume, assuming all conditions are met on both parties, and I will pull the box out <laughs> and show her the, the, the box. Now, you have the items that you wish to sell on the Riding Lizard, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, I agree to the terms. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hand her the box. Uh, and, and she she opens it up and there's this golden glow uh a la pulp fiction and goes uh -huh. i like gold <laughs> and shuts it i i am convinced that you guys have done well i am sorry at the loss of your other party members uh we will uh, mourn them uh, on our uh, own terms. Uh, 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 uh. we we're in mourning about them every single day it's great. Uh, you two need perception checks, and so does she. 24. 14. She doesn't hear it. Copious doesn't hear it. Leaf, uh, there's some kind of hullabaloo outside. I'm going to go, shh. Did you hear that? Something going on outside. Didn't hear squat. Boy, it better have a peek and see. Tony Dakota and two turtles are being marched into town. Oh, Jesus Christ. The gutters. By how many of turtles or what are just marching them into town? Three turtles, uh, best described as hilljacks. All I'm going right. to talk to uh, the, the uh, crime boss and just uh, those are more of our party members, part of our serving crew sailors from our ship are now being marched. Are those men yours? And ask her, point out those men, because if not, we're going to go take them out and rescue our friends. Those are farmers. Just checking. All right. Hey, do, what, do what you need to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. I'm going to sneak into this. <sighs> it, it's dusk at this point, correct? Mm -hmm. Tony Dakota and the two turtles are doing this uh, as pitchforks poke them repeatedly. Uh, do they spot you coming? Tony Dakota doesn't. The turtles notice you coming. Bye, the, far guys. the farmers do not. I'm so, going to move uh, stealth my way so that I'm behind them so I can do a sneak attack on them and attack them uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Give me, uh, there's three. Give me a stealth roll. 16. Very stealthy, but D12 against me. This Seven. Falls apart. Three. Uh, Phineas yells, hey, aren't those guys from our ship? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> Damn. Should have let her close. kill that son of a bitch. But Copious has creeped close enough to the back of them that you are in perfect striking position for Farmer Jed. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack whenever you say go, and then it, do I get the sneak attack roll on that one? Or you will get the sneak I, attack roll. I'm just gonna come out the door. They're about, probably gonna see me. I can't sneak. You're and gonna I'm, John Wayne it. Fair enough. John Wayne. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm casting copious ev ev evocation on my blade. That's the that's the fun spell. So okay, if I'm successful. It's gonna go off and it's gonna hurt some people. Uh, let's see it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Does 14 hit? Yes. Oh, these are farmers. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Yeah. They all need to die. <laughs> it's copious. You needed to ask that. And that was 10 points of damage before, and then they have to make a 15 spell save, or they take another uh, two die six damage. Everybody in a five foot radius takes two die six damage. That includes our guys, too, right? Yes, it does. Uh, one turtle passes, one fails, one of your turtles pass, one of them fails. Oh, and the tabaxi takes it all because that's a nat one. <laughs> T Tony Dakota, <laughs> it's got to be hurting. So two die six. Yeah, it, that's I it. I rolled it four. Yeah, I just rolled four points. 
Uh, the good news is you killed uh, Farmer Ted there at the back. So that guy is dead. Uh, the bad news is the other two are now mad. Leaf, you are up because I'll still give right. you the element of surprise. I'm just going to uh, attack with my uh, scimitar. That would be a 16. Yep. And that'd be six points. Cool. Cool. Uh, they're going to square off with uh, you, Leaf, because okay. they won't notice that Copius is there. Uh, odd that the turtles get a break, even they don't. Uh, the turtles still have their flippers over their head. Uh, Tony Dakota, oh no, he's going to kick the guy in the balls. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Where would that be on a turtle? Uh, right between the legs. That's a 15. Uh, I'm going to give him a D6 for that one. Yeah, three hit points. Nine. Uh, okay, round two. Uh, shouldn't he be incapacitated for a brief moment? Only four hit points. Oh, damn. Uh, unless there is the incapacitation. Cody. It was a cat's paw, after all. Nope, but uh, they're susceptible to higher level damage on the second round if it's successful again. As their mind is reverberating with copious uh you hear the door slam as phineas wants none of that shit uh i'm gonna automatically give you guys the win on initiative because you're experienced adventurers so go ahead and go round two round two same thing for copious <coughs> uh 14 point or 14 to hit yep 10 points of damage uh for the guy i swung at and then oh wait and then for the spell, was two more points of damage. That was it. Uh, uh, the Tabaxi is knocked unconscious since he has rolled his second critical Jesus fail. Uh, uh, the others fail except for one of the Tortles. Uh, one of the other uh, Hucksters is down. There's only one Huckster left. As he looks around, uh, oh, I've got it to see. Now, the turtles are, are still in prison formation. Uh, Tony is on the ground right. huffing. And uh, the third guy, whoa, mister, uh, we just found these guys uh, in our fields. Is we don't want any trouble. Common? Speaking uh, common? He does not. Oh, so I have no idea what he's saying. Nope. But you crystal hand sign, though? Yep. But Diego is behind you if you want her to. Oh. Yeah, I'll ask if she'll translate. Uh, she says he they caught them peeing in their field. Tell him to gather up his friends and go. Whoa! whoa Back whoa, to the whoa. farm. What? Whoa! 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 Hell! Well, I don't need him to go find like his sixteen other cousins and brothers and come looking for us again here. I mean, we don't need to kill him. I just let's put him in the farmhouse and leave him there for the time being until we get our guys out of here. Looks like the Duke boys are in trouble. <laughs> uh, the turtles take a cue from you and uh, tackle the farmer beating him about the head and chest as Tony Dakota takes his face out of a mud hole and uh, throws mud all over the place he's going to be a little bit out of it we'll switch back over to the Welsh soccer club uh, Manfang you have been hoisted above a table and they keep doing this <laughs> Uh, the crowd seems to be murmuring in approval, although they also seem to have been drinking for quite some time. Uh, give me a uh, give me a charisma check. Oh, not a save, just a check. Oh, Let's see Lord. how Lizarina likes you. She's gonna hate me when she figures out this this, this scar is in a tattoo. Uh, where is my this dice? Where are they? Stop. It's not that bad. 19. It's not that bad. Oh, yeah. That tongue comes out again. It's flickering. And she uh, kind of moves closer to you. So it's going to take. And she out. says in Tortellese, excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> I could put a chain through that. Now, see, 
with him as a juvenile, I'm going to have to really watch what I say. <laughs> so uh, it's going to take her one round to get up there and uh, put the moves on you. Hopefully your dexterity is high enough to pull this one off. Oh, yeah. I got a plus two. I'm nowhere near the master of dexterity. But... Felix, uh, you found your table and you're looking. D12 against me. Just remember. Three. Remember, Man Fang, you can always tag in Haggis. Two of them speak common. Stranger? Perfect. How's it going? I see you guys are shooting some dice. Uh, what if I join in? No, we aren't very good, by all means. Have a oh, seat. Neither am I. You can tell from their coin piles that they're better than the others. Uh, the others are disgusted and they walk away, leaving the two common speaking turtles and you. They are turtles. Gentlemen. Are what do you feel turtles. like playing there, Stretch? Well, I, I'm a master of the dice, my, or fancy the dice myself. Let's throw some bones, how about? Oh, yeah. Have you ever played Eight Shell Turtle? Oh, shit. No. Grab eight D6s. And you Get other dice. And you notice uh, a turtle female is giving you a shoulder massage. Hmm. They're friendly. Real friendly. friendly. All right. What are we doing here? Uh, give me eight plus, uh, give me eight rolls. Give me a total. And don't forget you get advantage on these guys up to what, what I say, four dice. Uh, I think it's four. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go with four. So you can reroll four crappy rolls. You're going to need to roll. I, I roll all eight D six at once. Yep. <clears throat> What you want to do is you want to put the numbers in a sequence. So like if you have four ones or three twos and you want to get the highest number of a single set, it's kind of like gotcha. poker with dice. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> they did not do very well. Uh, yeah. The most they have are three pair. Uh, so now you can pick what you don't like and re-roll it. And they're going to re-roll four dice. So they can have two pair. This game is complicated. It's meant to confuse you. Oh. Two triples. Fours and twos. Mm. Uh, I've got five fours. I think that beats me. Uh, you win the first round, and you win whew, 30 gold, 15 from each. Uh, <clears throat> they compliment you on your skill and well-being, uh, and the shoulder rub is really enthusiastic and really feels good. So, wow. How many yeah. rounds do we do here? Well, they'll, they'll, they'll throw another round of bones for you. Oh, yeah, let's do one more round. You Double will not, or nothing. You will not have advantage this time for some reason. <laughs> they got a triple and a pair showing. I've got uh, four of a kind. Okay. Uh, take your second roll. Oh, 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 I can't believe that. I've got seven of a kind. All twos. Persuasion check. <laughs> they seem to be disenchanted with that magical roll. Sixteen. Mighty lucky, stranger. Uh, this time you only fetch 24 gold pieces. <clears throat> well, you, should, you should move along, friend. I think I will. 
Give me a perception check. Yeah, the hooker got you for uh, 17 gold. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Robert, give me a perception check. <clears throat> and you're muted. 17. You notice uh, a pair of dart throwers headed over to Haggis, who is introducing himself to the table at the hookah spot. Haggis, give me a D12 roll, please. 11. Not six. Not six, nine. <clears throat> you, uh, six. Int you introduce yourself to the uh, hookahites. Uh, and they speak gibberish to you, but offer you a tug on one of the pipes. Is the uh, dart still in my head, by the way? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't realize this, but you got two coming up behind you. <laughs> <laughs> they want their dart back. <laughs> I sit down and... <clears throat> Give me a constitution a check on the hookah. <laughs> 19. I just want to point out, Christmas is coming, and Santa's watching you, Haggis. <laughs> uh, the, the hookah pipe gives you a feeling of euphoria. It's almost oxygen is what it is. So whatever the brick of herbage is, it releases a great deal of oxygen, and it is not a narcotic. It just makes you feel euphoric and happy and robust. So, uh, then you feel a tap on your shoulder. Okay. You turn around to see two turtles who are quite angry with you. One of them yanks out the dart rather brutally, <laughs> but because you have received a healthy dose of oxygen, you notice no pain. Uh, and they begin to thump you robustly in the chest. Robert, uh, you're watching this and you are behind them. What would you like to do? I'll put my hands on both their shoulders. <clears throat> this can't go wrong at all. Uh, <laughs> give me an intimidation check twice. That's the Left one thing I have a good roll on. Left and right. Twenty two for the right. Okay. Huh? And 17 for the left. Uh, I guess they give you a sturdy shove and circle their way around Robert of Zeppelin, who is standing menacingly behind them. Well, I give them a shrug, too. And yeah, suck on your hookah more and ignore me. Thanks, bastard. Uh, <laughs> if you're going to shove them, give me an intimidation check. <laughs> This is where Santa and sees the hookah. I, I just want to make sure I, I'm picturing this. How big are the two guys? Bigger than him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a halfling, right? So he's like three feet tall. You give him a shove in the knee, <laughs> and that causes them to turn around. So and was it the knee, knee, or did it swing out of the way when he shoved it? <laughs> Apparently, you guys don't know together? total anatomy. So Robert Haggis... <laughs> initiative uh they don't like short stuff pushing them around 22 19 Five. <laughs> uh they bristle robert one of them has the dart that they removed from haggis's head uh neither of them are armed that you can tell uh but you see them clinching their flippers and you're pretty sure you've seen this before. It looks like it's going to be go time. Boys, do you really want to do this? Robert, 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 this stuff is truth. <laughs> this hookah is truth. It will <laughs> fix everything. You're just burying yourself worse today. <laughs> you should have skipped today's game. <laughs> You're going to be grounded until you're 30. <laughs> uh, Robert, they don't understand you. All right. 
All right, let's see here. Okay, let's go. Are you going to clack your heads together? Okay. I still have shoulders, right? Yep. All right. Uh, okay. What am I rolling on that? I'll make, uh, we'll do dexterity as your modifier. No, strength what? is what's best. Yeah, but you're you're trying to make you sure that to, you knock noggins together. You got, you got a plus five? Them. What? You got a plus five? Yeah, man, you're nowhere near the master of dexterity. <laughs> it don't matter, it's natural 20. Oh, very nice. You clonk them both together. Uh, give me uh, 1d4 plus your strength bonus. And another 1d4 on top. All right, nine for the first one. Okay. And seven on the second one. Very nice. I guess what do you want to do? Your associate is just clunk them together. Do they feel like, are they in pain? If I can, know, like, are they are, like, usually you, you, you hit them? Oh, Swami. <laughs> in your new higher level of thinking. Do I well, sense their pain? My third eye is looking, but I, I like, are they like at least. What do you let him of, watch? Uh, they appear to be somewhat <laughs> slightly stunned there, John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't really want to fight. Um, oh, it's too late for that. It's already started. <laughs> I guess you know it took Lennon three years to realize he sat on the third eye. Yeah, I'm gonna. Mom, <laughs> <laughs> dexterity, do something. All, all, all right. I know is Jason is going to have a long chat. <laughs> I'll get. I'll get out my short sword and dagger. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Knocking heads. I'm not slaughtering. But what Next, you you're going to make me burn this establishment down. It's just the excuse Robert was looking for to set fire to this bar. <laughs> I was thinking that when I was standing in the doorway. Where could I start a fire? <laughs> Got to cover up the bodies. <laughs> okay, I guess you want to whip out the when, blades and start carving? Go ahead. I, when did right. a knight on the town I become think... a black ox? That's all I wanted to know. Every time you guys are in town. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're looking at Robert, so I can't sneak attack, right? Oh, yeah. We're, the, we're, still, yeah. we're, we're still team seven. So, so copious, can... we won't know until we see the glow will... in the sky to the west. <laughs> I'll attack with two swords and then I'll Yeah, attack. this is Delta Farce. So is that okay. two rolls? That is two rolls. Six, yeah. Eleven and eighteen. Uh the eleven's gonna or miss. The, the eighteen is gonna hit. Space force. Okay. So when you're That's standing 11. behind a turtle and you snake attack it, are you stabbing its shell? Uh, I assume he's going up and under the shell. Okay. Up that's a under. real low under. Of course, he is short. So that's, that's not true. too much under. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking that could do some then, damage. Do I do damage for both swords or just the one? Okay, uh, just the one because you missed one. Okay, then 11. Uh, 11 damage total? Yeah. Uh, he's unconscious. Awesome. I got one. <laughs> that's I got one, you Robert. You uh, killed somebody. <laughs> The second one, uh, you hear a crash as the hookah pipe breaks as the lizard dude and the turtles that were huffing oxygen stand up and it looks like it's going to be go time for them as well. Uh, Man Fang, from your lofty position, you can see yet again, your associates have not let you down. Because uh, Felix is over there <laughs> counting his money, and Haggis and Robert are in the middle of a fight. The lizard chick, however, has finally reached you and starts to speak in draconian, whispering sweet nothings to you and how handsome you are with that notable scar and wants to know how you got it. What did you say for the last bit? I was Yang. <laughs> How did you get the scar? Oh, I, I, a big, big dragon, not dragon luck, but big, big monster scratched my face. It hurt a lot. He's so but, shocked by her beauty. I know. It's just, Pers she looks so beautiful. Persuasion. All right, cool. <laughs> and just, just remember, I can show this to your mother. Uh, 16. She'll buy that. Over in the middle of the street, 
copious and leave. Uh, my face. Make scar. Do you want to drag the bodies in or have him drag the bodies out to the Duke farm? Uh, we're out, we're at the out on the farm in the broken down shack, right? Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get the, the two turtles from the ship to drag the bodies into with the farmer to drag the bodies into the, the cabin, the burnout cabin. Uh, Diego doesn't care what you do. So no, yeah. Yeah, she, she's fine. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't know these people from Adam. They aren't part of hers. So um, she got what she wanted. That's right. Uh, she also... Uh, and out of the shadows comes a pair of turtles carrying what appears to be a heavy wooden chest. Uh, we'll uh, assume this is the payment for the goods that we're exchanging. Correct. She could not come up with all of the platinum, uh, so she had to go with some gold. So what is but exactly in the chest? Uh, it's 5,000 gold pieces total, is it not? Is that the price agreed upon? I have to pull out. Uh, there's actually more. Uh, so the silver, Kagar silver item was 1100. The onk yeah. was 50 gold pieces. The mace was 125. Uh, but the big item I think was five grand. Was it? Yes, it was. Yeah. You so guys you realize got... at some point he's going to sink the ship with this 40,000 gold pieces to the bottom somewhere. Um, right now we're not sure we still have a ship because half the crew's now on land. That's true. But you wouldn't know that because you're murdering turtles. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm clocking heads together. A little backstabber way down there on the Brady Bunch pole and my screen is the one stabbing everybody in the back. Um, yeah, enough of that. So we sold the silver altar things for 1,100 gold pieces. The helmet she did not buy. She said that cost too much. She uh, changed her mind if you got the box, and that was the five grand item. Yeah, that was okay. the five grand item. The copper conquistador helm. She would she would take that if we did this job for her. She would have the money to pay for it. Okay. So we got fifty for the onk, one hundred twenty-five for the mace, eleven hundred for the silver altar pieces, and five thousand for the helmet. So the total here is is what sixty-two seventy-five. Yep, about half of that is in the platinum ingots that she promised, but she could not get it all in platinum. That's fine. That's a uh, what is platinum used happy. for? Money. Is that it? There's nothing else. Rings, jewelry, stuff. Yeah. Like it's a precious metal, Frankie, like gold. Yeah. Uh, Actually, the, the costs more than gold. I, the yeah, box I know is going to be heavy, but the riding lizard will be able to carry it. Well, we're going to go ahead. Once we've confirmed what's in the, the chest, we'll tie it to the riding lizard. And, Farts uh, again. That's fine. He, he, right now, he's carrying all the money. So is Phineas, um, if Phineas is there, uh, we'll make sure he's taking care of the riding lizard. He is, and he has found one last blue job. Oh, good God. Okay. <laughs> and then I just want to ask Tony, um, Dakota. Tony the Tiger there. I said, why are, why are you off the ship? We went looking for Copious. Or, I'm <laughs> sorry, Haggis. Our captain disappeared. We don't know where he went. We went out. We were looking for him. I had to take a leak. Next thing I know, I got a pitchfork in my back. So where's the ship right now? I assume where we left it. Is where you left it where we were supposed to meet it? In the estuary. Okay. Is that a problem? Nope. Just making sure where we're leaving when we leave this uh, burnout cabin. That's all. If we leave? I can go back and check on it. <clears throat> now, you stay here and help keep this riding lizard uh, sedated here for the moment. Keep Stay with the, the riding lizard. We'll all go back together. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Haggis should be joining us shortly. Oh, is he with... here? He is. He's in town just getting the last of our things. We're ready to go as soon as he comes out. Cool. That works. How long is the ship going to be in the estuary? We anchored it. Lord have mercy. We're so going to lose this vessel. <clears throat> All right, Leaf. <laughs> Are we staying here or are we going to go ahead and head to the ship? I need to rest so I can get some of my spells back. 
uh, I'll ask Coronado and her associate, is there anything else you need from us? Uh, no, she's packing uh, up the item. She cannot take her eyes off the Conquistador helmet. It's a fine piece, isn't it? It is indeed. Is there any, any special, uh, uh, not value, any special meaning to the Conquistador helmet, the emblems that are on it, the script writing? Nope. Perception. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally doing a perception on that one. Uh, would that be an insight bonus or a sure. perception? Sure, I'll give you insight bonus. 22. She's a liar! <laughs> <laughs> but, awesome. it, I mean, she paid five grand for it, so... Yep, that's hers. That, yeah, we that, did that, it. Al that alone means something's up with that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just going to tell uh, uh, if Phineas, he had a chance to look at it. He never identified anything either. I was uh, feeling uh, queasy. <laughs> I said, we, we know it wasn't, it didn't come up as magical when we did the detect magic on all the items, but I'm just curious now. I'm And I'll tell her that. And I said, I'm just curious, you know, as a, as a retriever of historical items for private collectors, I was just wondering what the, if there's any particular value associated, historically speaking, uh, yeah, with the total people. D12 against me. 10. 2. Tweedledee and Tweedledum don't know anything about it either. Uh, clearly, Diego's not going to say anything. Your Torto companions don't know what it is. It's a mystery, Scoob. Do you ever try an Arcana roll on? Copious to see if you can read what I, it says. I don't really have an arc, much arcana to put into something like that. That's not I, think my every, I think everybody actually arcana that thing, but nobody rolled high enough. Yeah, my arcana is not a it's not a strength for copious. All right, well, uh, El Jefe or whatever conquista. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's the whoa, other whoa, guy. Whoa, dumbass! <laughs> you mentioned the unholy name in this establishment. How dare you! <laughs> Chop off his head. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's insult her. <laughs> yeah. When we left El Jefe, he was shooting ballista bolts at us. I was going to say, uh, El Jefe. And I got Swiss alive. cheese disease. I said. He burnt pretty bad. Yeah, we hurt him pretty bad, but we weren't able to kill him. <laughs> burnt the end down. I'm sure something will happen. Well, well, I will take my leave of you. It has been nice doing business with you. Our pleasure. If we're ever in the area, we have to Don't go stop by. <laughs> uh, back over to the chaos. <laughs> Robert and Haggis are engaged. Felix, you are happily counting your money, uh, and you have not yet realized that you had some money lifted from the lizard hooker or turtle hooker. Uh, Manfang, uh, you're getting tired of everybody feeling you up. Uh, but the lizard lady... It's kind of curious. Yeah, I'm like getting a little tired of people touching my hole. I'm getting a little tired of people touching my hole. Yeah, she wants to buy you a drink upstairs. Cool. Cool. Hey, uh, yeah, Dad. What are you going to do with that, son? Hey, yeah. Mom. Hey, uh, Dad. Is Mom in the room? Uh, Frankie, I'm I got news for you. <laughs> yeah. These are all recorded, and your dad can show this playback <laughs> to your mother when she gets home. You know what? That's fine. Let's do it. All right. Sure. Let's go. You know what? Let's Going upstairs. It. All right. Cool. I, I'm live streaming it to the, the priest at your church. Don't worry. <laughs> Father <laughs> Sylvester, you pay attention to this. Uh, Father Sylvester, I, watch I'm this sorry next part. For, I'm sorry yeah. for doing such heresy. Man Fang, you uh, are led by the hand up the stairs of this uh, questionable establishment. Uh, as you walk by, you see the beaming smile of Felix, who is cleaned up at the gaming table. And the, the din of battle over to your left is pretty much being ignored. Uh, Robert, Haggis, uh, you guys are up. It appears as though the bar is now upset at you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to respond in text there, Haggis. You're just shit out of luck. There is no time for rest. I need to rest up a bit. You should have thought that before you stabbed somebody in the back. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, that had to be shared. That had to be shared with the public. 
I might need to rest up a bit before we do anything else. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to get plenty of rest. It's called a dirt nap here in a minute. Time out, everybody. <laughs> Nobody stab me yet. I'm going to take about 15. So, Robert, we'll start with you. What do you want to do? <laughs> uh, so the two turtles I clunked, he backstabbed, they're down. The one is down. What's the other one look like he's doing? Uh, shaking the cobwebs out of his head. He's the one that yelled for everybody else in their guttural language. And uh, have received oh. an answer. Uh, I'm going to try to throw him at the group coming towards us. The broken hookah group? Yep. Sure. Uh, hit him to pick him up. And then we'll do a dex throw on him. Master of Dexterity. 21. Okay. Uh, you hit him. So now give me a dex roll. 20. Dirty. Uh, you successfully throw him over Haggis's head uh, and at the oncoming onslaught of oxygenated hookah people. Uh, as you can tell, uh, Manfang is now... Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, Man Fang has gone upstairs or is going up the stairs. You throw him. Uh, Haggis, give me a perception check to see if you notice uh, uh, the holy Man Fang going up the stairs. Um, that's a 14. You don't see him. <laughs> she is hustling him up the stairs. What would you like to do? Did you want to take rest? You want to get a Sealy out here? Maybe take you know, Dasani. <laughs> uh, ask but, ask for a root beer. Get a um, little sarsaparilla action. Which, which direction was the um the guy that. thrown? Just so I know, like where on the map they are compared to where we are. Okay, well, I would like to get out my bag of small beads, which I collected a while back, and I'd like to act um, prime, not use, but like have it ready. Acid splash, so it has that sort of glowy goodness, and like put it in the, you know, really raise it up and try and intimidate them. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up the whole place. So you'll raise it up to their it. waistband. <laughs> yeah. They're turtles, not black bears. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Deculator. <laughs> Felix, go ahead and give me a, a oh, perception oh, check. In the dark side. 16. Uh, you notice Man Fang going up the stairs. Uh, you also notice Robert hoisting a uh, turtle and heaving him into the corner. Oh. You've already heard a crash, uh, and now you're starting to think hey, my coin purse is a little bit light here. <laughs> well uh, seeing what's happening over there and knowing the state that I'm in as well I could also use a short rest I don't really want to mess with them I'm going to head to the bar and grab myself a drink awesome as you do so the two gamblers flank you you're uh Friends How am I the only one not trying to kill people here? <laughs> the friends are in a little bit of trouble. I'm going to go and buy a round for everybody and make it all better for them. Were Marky? you going to buy with our money? With my money that I just won? I'm afraid uh, with your friends over there, I'm not seeing it that way at all. I think that you're sorely mistaken. Um, perhaps the, the should... bartender. You sure you want to do this, friend? <laughs> <laughs> How you're big about... is this place? Uh, it's like a shotgun house. So you're probably 30 feet deep into it hmm. in the corner. <laughs> I won this money fair and square, bartender. Now, please. Was that the money that you're going to use to repair the damages from your associates? 
my associates will pay for their damages, I assure you. Now, please, I would like a round for, I'm going to count how many people are over there. I would like a round of very stiff, extremely stiff drinks for all of my associates. So these guys and over here. For those guys with the rumble, I'm going to go try to defuse the situation. That'll now be, remember, uh, that'll I asked be, for the stiffest drinks you have. That'd be about 50 gold pieces, friend. Add it to my tab, because I'm probably going to need two rounds. Uh, we don't really do tabs for out-of-towners. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I but see this how it bar is. is getting burnt. The bar is about to get burnt. I'll take out oh, 50 gold pe the good. gold pieces that I just won, the 37 plus 13 of my own. I'll put them on the bar in a coin purse. In, uh, are you using any of the old turtle currency? I thought we got rid of all of that. I, I just double checking. So, okay. He takes it. He gives you a, a pizza sized tray with a lot of glasses on it. Give me two dexterity rolls to weave your way through the crowd without spilling stuff. This is a job for the master of dexterity. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> the other one was a 16 for what it's worth. Uh, you can use the tray as a shield because let's see if you hit uh, sailors or regular folks? Do you want the sailors to be odd or even? Uh, the sailors are odd. 13. <laughs> <laughs> you have splashed all of those drinks onto the sailors who... What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they do not uh, speak common. I'm going to just kind of move right past him continue towards my friends and when I get when I get there say gentlemen please this is surely just a big misunderstanding I suggest we get the hell out of here I'm gonna drop the tray of drinks and well, you try... already did that <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh the whole tray is gone with a one oh yeah oh, okay yeah so you Well then I'm not I thought I still had some of the drinks. I think I might still have some of that other flammable liquor. I'm sure that you do. You are right here at the star after throwing the body. Robert is at the star. Uh Haggis is close to the star. The stairs are over here. Man Fang, give me a constitution saving throw, please. And saving throw? Yep. That would be a 19. Very nice. Uh, as you are led into this uh, spatial room with uh, strange fabric hanging from the wall, she turns to you and blows a flower's pollen into your face, uh, but nothing seemingly happens. Uh, right, a look yeah. of concern flashes across her face. I'm going to ask her did you just blow in my face, may I ask? Roll initiative. <laughs> All right, cool. It's trying to kill me. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Does anything on her look like it's sell for a lot? Uh, hey, she, she's got to worry about over. killing her first before you can sell her shit. Uh, and uh, 19. Uh, that beats my 18. Yay. So what, what do you want to do? Uh, so I guess I'll... She's a woman, so I'm not allowed to hit her and get away with it. Either. If no, wait, no one will find out. So I'll get on my great axe. In this game, she's an adversary killer. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> Frank. Son, you know, just, just not it. dead. Jewelry's dead. dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's dead, but it's going to be dead sooner or later. So might as well end it now. Uh, I guess I'll just kill a bitch. Fine, punch right across the face. Oh, punch, not slash. No, oh, it's too much blood. <laughs> Too much evidence. Okay, go ahead. Punch her. All right, kapow. Kill um, that bitch, not punch her. I'm going to stab her. 
throw the we're upstairs. I can throw her body out the window. Bomb and acid. Uh, that plus eight. So that would be what? What's what do I have to get to hit her? Uh, four. Look at your paper. Oh, then I already got sixteen. All right, you hit her. How um, much damage? I Make a roll. That is a two plus six, so it'll be eight. I think that's eight. I don't know how to do it because it says six blood dungeoning, or however you say it. Yep. You uh you do quite the number on her, and in her turn, she screams for Lorna and Tane. Okay. Is and you hear booted one? feet coming God. down the hallway. Meanwhile, Leaf and Copious, what are you guys doing over at the farmhouse? <laughs> uh, how long has it been since we made our exchange and we left Num Nuts back in the bar? Oh, you've had about 30 minutes, so you've given yourself a short rest. <laughs> a short, short rest, and, and I will tell, I have short rest and I can get back a couple of my spell slots. So, so Copious, now, maybe now, we... Take, take only half of the ones that you can back because you were in a fight. Half the ones that I can. That'd yeah. be one, right? Uh, yep, you can have one back. Okay. And I'll even give each one of you a hit die back if you want to roll it. If you're down. I don't have any down. Well, it must be freaking nice. I had that killer chair in that fun house kept attacking me from behind. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I, I'm coward. I was standing behind Robert when he threw those chairs at what? you. So. What? Oops, did that slip out? I don't have any damage, so. Okay. I did. I'll take it. I'll take. I got back four. Uh, we're I as of right now. I think we're just we're gonna wait for what another half hour, or, you know, until it's completely dark, and then make our way back to the ship. Uh, we need to make our way back to town and get the rest of the crew. No, we don't. We have the crew. You're talking about the party, and they know where to meet uh, the rowboat to get on. You know, I think you're right. I, I can think of 6,775 reasons why we don't need to go back to town. Hey, we go go to where the rowboat's stashed, and we can make sure everything's there and be prepared to leave if we have to. get but there. All right. I don't want to miss the chance that that ship, with God knows who's running it since Haggis is here. Why don't we do this? I, I'm no, sorry. I, everybody's here. <laughs> well, so we leave, to leave Tony Tabaki here to tell him where we're at, and he can lead him oh, back. He's in Tabaxi. If we leave him here and the turtle finds him, they're going to kill him. That's true. Well, who are we going to leave? Nobody. <laughs> they know where to go. Uh, that's right. We got to have numb nuts to guide the lizard, don't we? Yeah. All right. So leave you him a message. <laughs> Crawl it in turtle blood. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Write it, right? We want to leave a message. We just pose the dead bodies in a way that only Robert would understand. Robert, like you'll come arrows. across dead bodies that look like a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, went back to the ship. <laughs> so you guys and Phineas and the riding lizard are headed back. Yeah. Yes. And the farmer is still with us. The living farmer is still with us, right? If you want to take him. I say we take the living farmer and we don't release him until we get the rest of our crews back. Right. Tony Dakota is not real thrilled with this dude. Thank All the more reason for Tony Dakota to watch this dude. Oh, he'll be happy to. That sound like a plan, Leaf? It works for me. All Cousin right. Jesse. <laughs> Cousin Jesse. Let's do it. Okay, in the dark, you guys head off towards the estuary. Uh, who wants to do the survival check to see if you get lost or not? Leaf, the <laughs> druid. He does have wisdom. Not the city gnome. Muted. Still muted. I think he, he said he got a 26. I, had a, I got a 21. My survival's plus eight. Uh, yes, you will be able to... Uh, make your way through there. Uh, remember, it did take a couple hours to get here, though. Yeah. You guys head off. So, panic at the disco. Uh, Manfang, uh, 
you're about to have company and they probably aren't going to be cool about it. Is there how high up is the second floor? And if and is there a window in the two? Uh 12 feet and yes. Could I would I could I get out without injuring myself? You? No. <laughs> All right. Cool Other then. people probably. <laughs> It'll be it, there'll be a roll for it. All right, I'm going to kick I'm going to burst out the door. See who's there. Uh as you burst out the door, look into the hallway, you see two large turtles armed for bear coming down is, this way. Is there any, are there more than one staircase to get back down? Nope, Only. and they have already cut you off from it. So, Alrighty, I'll get out my great axe and charge right at me. Cool. Uh, Felix, <laughs> uh, you are in the star uh, with Robert yeah. and Haggis. Uh, what would you three like to do? I'm going to set the bartender on fire. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to set this place on fire. I've already taken the liberty to douse it with flammable liquid. The hot bandits are ready. Okay, hot Everybody, bandits. The hot bandits. Yeah. He's not Joe Pesci. He's uh, Robert Mitchum. <laughs> no, that's a reference to the wet bandits from Home Alone. Yeah, the sticky bandits. Okay, yeah. so yes, uh, Felix has conveniently doused several sailors and the floor in flammable liquid. Uh, the hookah guys are getting up mad that you broke the hookah, mad that you killed their friend, and mad that you threw their dead friend at them. Uh, Haggis, his blades out, give me somebody to hit. What do you guys want to do? And the stairs are behind you. Well, um, uh, did any of us notice uh, um, Man Fang? I know. I did, I did. Okay. I got. I got enough on my plate because of you. Now I didn't <laughs> notice Man Fang. I think what I'm gonna do is tell my friends we got to go upstairs and get Man Fang. That's our way out. There's no way we're getting through the front door. Are we I'm right gonna... by the front door? Or what's this R and H? Uh. You Robert and Haggis. Oh, we're in the back corner. I thought that was next. <laughs> nope, there's the entrance. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to set it on fire, go upstairs, and jump out a window, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the plan. plan. That's the plan. Uh, so what, uh, what are you using to catch Turning hands? Okay. There so is a hookah coal somewhere in the vicinity. I'm going to take out my whatever is left of that flammable liquid and try to Toss it on the hookah coal. Uh, well, see. Burning hands. I have a 15 foot cone. That works even better. Which cone do you want? The left or the down? I'm going the down. I want to where the flammable liquid is towards the uh, sailors that are pissed off and getting up. Mm -hmm. And towards the, uh, I want the fire to start because I'm trying to get the fire over to all the other alcohols. Okay, yeah. So you want to actually include it like here. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I will allow that. This should be fun. Uh, oh. Give me a two-hit roll. Uh, 14 with the first one and 18 with the second. Uh, the 14, you will catch the floor on fire, uh, and start all the sailors who are mad and know full well that they are doused in flammable liquid. Your second roll will ignite the bar and to wit the lower tier of alcohol here. The hookah guys are still there to be dealt with. And that's going to be Haggis's problem. Oh man! So the plan is set the place into a raging inferno and run up the stairs. Yes. Okay. And jump That's out. The only way out. <laughs> you hope. I do hope. Can't wait yes. to tell them that that yeah, too high to jump stairs. out of. Yeah. If not, my plan was to use Haggis's head as a battering <laughs> ram to blow out a wall. Mister Five Dexterity. You know what, Mister? I'm going to run upstairs with some cheap floozy. I don't want to hear it. Shut it. I'm still a virgin. Uh, you're going to be the dead virgin here in a minute. Uh huh. 
Now let your mom know that you're trying to solve your virgin issues on this game. Uh huh. I don't Go think ahead. I want her to play with that guy anymore. <laughs> Great. Now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yep. This is all your fault. Uh, I'm going to be a letter to the editor again. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> This is why women hate me. That's all right. We'll just blame his uncle. That's true. I would, because anybody who's <laughs> hairless is clearly the problem here. Always. Okay, so this was a room. This is the stairs. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do this and this. So you got rooms here, um, but this one, the star, is, uh, we'll call it the love pit for you. And you are now right here, squaring off with two dudes. <laughs> so uh, as you guys break free, well, first off, Haggis, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, you and your hookah buddies. <laughs> run up the stairs so i will take a uh, attack of opportunity and throw mugs at you and i will miss soundly with a nine and a four uh the speedy little halfling is the first one up the stairs leaving felix and robert to deal with the masses son of a bitch chicken shit this is all your dad's raising right here <laughs> Let me start the bull crap and then run away. I concur. Well done, son. <laughs> son, yeah. today, today you have made me proud. <laughs> I think I'm going to run up the stairs too. Okay. <laughs> Robert, you're on your own. I will, th I will throw a mug at Felix. You know what? I'm going to throw a dagger at Felix. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Felix, as you run up the stairs, thunk, right into the uh, pillar holding up the second floor, a dagger is right there. It's a silver one. It looks like a male mermaid. If I'm going to get... Oh, go ahead. Oh, if I see that it's a male mermaid... Perception I'm... check. Oh. <laughs> I'm not waiting for my next move. 14. Yeah, you see it. I'm going to grab it and see if I can get it out. Uh, give me a strength check, and I'm going to throw a short sword at you this time. Here, <laughs> my four. Uh, that's, uh, it's stuck in there pretty good. Uh, 15 plus 419 get you. Oh, shit, yeah. Murder hobo. Uh, six plus two, eight hit points. Is, you, you now have a hole in your side. You guys are twins. <laughs> well, you yes, gotta, you gotta love those damn green it. dice. I'm gonna keep. Ugh. I'm gonna abandon the dagger and go back upstairs. <laughs> Robert, you stand alone. <clears throat> I'm backing up into the stairwell. As soon as I get halfway up the stairs, I'm casting bonfire at the bottom of the stairs. Fair enough. I will uh, throw. Two mugs and a dagger at you. Yay, the all hit. I know it. Uh, the root beer one will be the dagger. Root beer is a two. I got a 13 and a six. Does a 17 get you? 17 is equal. The mug o alcohol, be careful now, uh, hits you square in the face for four hit points of damage what? and has doused you. <laughs> Are you ready to cast Bonfire? From a distance. <laughs> well, we here comes the to. crowd. They're mad we as hell. Want you to. Oh, and there's also a, a, a silver dagger embedded in the, the timber thingy. Well, uh, I don't have to touch it, and I can create it up to 60 foot away. You can create what up to 60? A bonfire. It's, a, it's one of my uh, <laughs> hand trips. Oh, so you're just going to ignore the blade. What blade? I missed something. Okay, you missed it. <laughs> uh, you cast the bonfire, uh, and that will protect your escape. Unfortunately, it is going to uh, start to burn the timbers holding up uh, 
the second story there for you. I got to get these fuckers moving. Excuse the French. It's just got to come out. Parlez-vous, fromage. No, that's fine. Uh, Haggis, you're the first one up since you were the first one to bail. You are behind two tortles, and beyond is uh, <laughs> Man Fang, and behind him is his uh, forked tongue lover. Hi, Man Fang. Hey, man. How's it going? Uh, doing great. How are you doing? With the parlay, uh, the two guards turn around to see you. Then they also see Felix. And then a moment later, they see Robert. You see, but, I, but we are, we have different faces. We're just going to go on past and just go out the window. Everything's fine downstairs. <laughs> yeah, smoke is rolling up the stairs. <laughs> you guys are taking care down. of that fire. <laughs> it's gotten hotter upstairs. Let's just say that. I, I'm, I, do I, a, I'm just going past the guards. Like, well, Let's do an old school morale check on the guards. Uh, guard on the left. Nat 20, he's going to fight. Damn it. Guard on the right to six. Uh, he's going to go uh, right here. <laughs> so he wants no part of that. Uh, so there's one guard to deal with. You want to try and sneak around him? Yeah. Uh huh. So give me. A diplomacy check. What? Uh, I'm sorry. We don't use diplomacy anymore. Uh, persuasion? We... Yeah, we'll go with persuasion. Awesome. Diplomacy right. is only for the diplomacy well, I have master. Six in that the diplomacy master. <clears throat> 25. Uh, he's eyeballing everybody. And uh, much to your chagrin or happiness, he doesn't think you're that much of a threat. So he's going to let you go by uh, until he realizes it's now two and two and him. Uh, Felix, you're up next. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to say, I mean, you. Or I'm just going to, I'm going to go by too. He doesn't understand what the hell I'm saying. He, he does not understand. He Let's you pass. <laughs> uh, the, I, the lizard chick is screaming. Can I? I can yell and drag and I just say, stop screaming. It's getting annoying. Or just, I don't know, man. Just tell her stop. I'm going to tell her stop. Okay. Felix, what were you going to say? I was going to say, if that sword is still sticking out of me, I'd, I'd like to get it out before I it, jump out the window. It is. You're like Lancelot in Excalibur. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <that's> lovely. <laughs> The old wound still hurts. You're lucky I'm not causing you to sweat. <laughs> oh, the king so without a sword! A sword without a king! Uh, you, uh, you pull the blade free, and uh, he's definitely not going to mess with you. Oh, man. I wanted to do it, but I wanted to put my foot on his chest like sword to stone. Well, it might be I stuck think... in a rib, so you need to jerk it like a, a one-armed bandit. <laughs> okay, Robert. Uh... Your associates are filling the hallway down there at the end, and smoke is rolling up here. I'm coming up the hallway. I see the guard. I'm screaming, fire! Fire! The sailors put it on fire! Hey, down there. A little booger, a little booger, a little booger. He goes in the room on the other side. I'm, haul I'm hauling ass down the hall. Uh, she is going to take off uh, and barricade herself back into the love nest. So this door is now locked. Oh, I could break it open. You could. All right, I'm going to try and break it open. Cool. Because we... get the hell out of here. There's Would a window like... in that room. Would you like Haggis to do it since he's done everything else? Nope. <laughs> okay. So you want to give me uh give me a D20. Let's make sure you don't get your foot caught in it. Which happens more. Actual often. twenty. Hey. You kick it right off the hinges. It smashes into her face, uh, and she is trapped underneath it. Uh, uh -huh, as Man it. Fang has said, there is a window right here, and you guys can jump out. We could daisy chain and dangle ourselves down to the ground. Yeah. It's, a, it's about 10 feet, maybe 12 it's feet. It's only 10 feet. Don't be such a baby. Jump right yeah. out out. 
That's that's ten foot, but that's still yeah. that's still yeah. like seven. The you know eight to seven foot freaking haggis has got to drop. <laughs> no man, right, fang can hang out around. there and catch catch haggis. Well, I figured man, fang hang down and we all climb down his tail and drop down. Yeah, no. This not, is yeah. a love You're room. Not There's got to be a bed. In I've here. already been. I'm getting the enough. love bed. I've We're in the love room enough today. I've been groped enough. Oh, I'm running down the hallway to the open door. When I get to the door that's under her. I'm going to give a good jump stomp down before nice. I head to the window. Uh, the first thing he said when you came in that room was, there's cloths hanging, draperies, whatever, hanging all over the room. Well, climb that's down, make one. a rope, and climb down a damn thing. Yeah. Uh, the yeah, yeah. On You're fire. not touching my tail. To you touch rope. too much. That's my kindling. <laughs> I'm glad I'm going back Shut to up. Ship. Make it a rope. Shut up. Make it a rope and climb. <laughs> Guys, I'm helping. Then okay, I'm ten jump. foot, jump down. Who's the first one to try and jump down? I'm going to dangle over down there. Release. How about Mr. Ten Foot jump down? Well, I'm going to the... dangle my body down and then let go of the windowsill and drop the last. Dangle my body down and then. Uh, 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 D12 against me, Robert. I'm going to fashion a something you haven't happy. figured it out. <laughs> ten. Focus, you aren't even there. <laughs> uh, ten. Uh, good news, it's a tie. Bad news, uh, you should have looked before you leap because since the place is on fire, everybody's out the front door. You have softened your blow by landing on the bartender <laughs> and oh, flattened him. You find yourself surrounded by angry patrons. Who's <laughs> next out the window? Uh, Everything good me. down there, Robert? No, I guess that was the front door. I didn't even, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I see the map now. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, I, I wasn't trying to hide it. <laughs> you guys jumped out of <laughs> right here. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. But... See, this this area right here would have been better. This, this is the area. I gave you the out, but no, you wanted to stomp a lady. <laughs> No witnesses. I'm, I'm going to pick the oh, door up. And uh, I think you're sorely mistaken. <laughs> I'm going to pick the door up and blew it. I want to see if there's anything valuable on it. So is there a, is the fire upstairs? I'm not yet. There's, there's only coming. one thing we can do. We got to start throwing stuff out the window to try to get people to leave. Yeah. Right Let's on top of stuff. Robert. Just drop right it out on the top window. of Robert. <laughs> just drop it. Don't throw it. Just drop it out the window. Throw a dresser out. Is there yeah. a chair in there? Let's throw a chair through <laughs> the floor. Throw, throw the mattress out. The mattress. Yeah, throw I'm going to start throwing stuff out. It, while yeah, I'm don't doing throw it, this, drop it. Throw the whore. Throw the whore. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna, and Fang's yeah. already out the window, isn't he? No, I'm not out the window. I wasn't going to be stuck it out for Mr. All right, Ten then throw the whore there. out. Then Are fine, we'll throw the chick out the window. In this room, we're gonna get put on a list by saying all this stuff. Uh, there is a uh, kind of a small tray of perfume bottles, small, colorful little bottles, and one bottle that looks like a genie bottle, for lack of a better Jesus, term. Gypsy. I'm gonna take the little perfume bottles and out the window, and meanwhile, the big genie bottles going right into my pocket. She's sure. a gypsy or somewhere wherever I can fit it. Not the yeah, you wait, you fit it there, Clark. <laughs> there are four bottles. <laughs> uh, two bottles strike Robert with a 19 and a 20. Uh, you now smell like jasmine <laughs> and powder. Not exactly fragrant, but it's there. Oh, boys. <laughs> The God, other two so bottles loud. hit other people. As you guys start flinging stuff out there, are we throwing the, as you refer to her, the whore? <laughs> I called I her a gypsy. referring to Felix. I called her a gypsy. All right. Are you, are you throwing her out? No, I want to loot her first. I want to see what she has on her. Uh, she has about 40 gold pieces worth of jewelry, I... and the smoke is rolling in through the hallway. All right. I'm going to take it and then toss her out the window. Let's see if you hit Robert with her. <laughs> Please hit him. Hit him. 14. No. Uh, as ah. Robert professes his innocence as saying we've done nothing wrong, the dead hooker <laughs> <laughs> lands at his feet. You may try and tell the party that 
she was like that when you found her. <laughs> See? The real killers are still up there! Everybody looks up. I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing more shit out. Uh, as the linens fall, they're covering people's, or the turtles' faces. Oh, Trying to wrap um, around them. It is yeah, now... I'm going to throw and look for like sheets or drapes or something and try to throw them and cast like almost just a, a screen if I can. Frisbee and it. then I'm going to jump out. <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> be like a magician. And He's going to break his leg. Up, jump out and so, hope that I can land while it's still in the air. Crowd, so He's trying to crowd surf off the top speaker. So the second person out is Felix. Felix... Go ahead and roll a general dexterity roll. If it's a critical fail, you're going to land on Robert. I'm running. It's a hell of a jump. Eh? <laughs> he doesn't land on Robert, but he does. Uh, your fall is broken by at least two sailors that smell like alcohol. Uh, as you look up from your superhero landing, uh, you see Robert's ass headed towards the farmhouse. I'm um, following Robert. I'll jump, out, I'll jump out the window next. I'll try and land on that gypsy we threw out the window. Sure. All right, so I'll try and land on her. I guess I'll jump out the window now. What do I have to roll? Dexterity. Oh, yeah. Plus two. Second best. Haggis, I'm sure, will make it without any issue. <laughs> oh, yeah. I make it 21. 21. Oh, very nice. You nice. land in the opening caused by Felix's... Uh, Linens. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. Uh, you see both Felix and Robert hightailing it east. I will follow. That leaves Haggis, the dexteritus. <laughs> Is there the anything else in this room before I um, leave? Like, nope, we threw it out the window. Maybe? Nope. We threw everything all the, all, out the window. All those uh, were grabbed by Felix. There's some clothes, some performance clothes. Uh, Don't yeah. touch them. Don't, you'll, you'll get a disease. You'll get pink eye. All right, I, I, <laughs> you'll get a I uh, jump out of the window. <clears throat> okay, give me your dex roll. Eighteen. Very nice. Uh, you uh, super, superhero landing in the same spot Manfang did. Uh, the crowd is angry. Somehow they've obtained torches and pitchforks. Uh, they look like they're going to skewer you. Your three associates are running east. They went that way. <laughs> and they close on you. <laughs> <laughs> he's already, he's dead to me. Leave him. Mr. Stabby. <laughs> How can you kill my friend? I saw a bar fight. You saw blood. That's all I got to say. You're on your own, pal. All right. You're the I'm guy covering up the evidence best I can. <clears throat> You're the guy that shoots people in the bar fight. Just take the <laughs> hit in the jaw like a man does. And <laughs> is it just me? Ass. Is it just me or is Man Fang with me? No. Well, I'm running off. Yeah. Well, let's start throwing beer at you. Uh -huh. Oh, can I empty my bag of acid balls? <laughs> 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 Yes, yes, because, because you load. phrased it that way, I will say yes. <laughs> you gotta empty his load of massive papers. Nat 20, a nat 20, a 12, and a 17. I'm gonna <laughs> hit you with bottles. Uh, kink, kink, where's, kink. My, where's my murder hobo? Two kink, 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 kink. Six and three, nine damage total, and you empty your acid balls on the pavement or cobblestones. All right. And uh, let's see if anybody notices them or steps on them. They're spicy. Talk about burning a bridge. Yeah, you <laughs> guys are never coming to Fatar. <laughs> uh, one of them ruined, steps on your safe. acid balls, it burns their foot, and caves to the ground, screaming in pain. Ergo, yeah. the rest of the pursuers, uh, they think that today's been a good day and they start forming a picket line to douse the flames with buckets. The bucket brigade is in full bore as you four heroes <laughs> run east towards the farmhouse. Unfortunately, you get to the farmhouse and son of a bitch, it's what empty. <laughs> Scrawl, scrawled in turtle blood 
is a pictogram. Everybody give me an intelligence check to see if you can figure out. Oh, try, I don't even this. try, man. I got man this. Fang will get this. Go ahead, man. Fang. <laughs> that was the one time I rolled under 10. I rolled an eight. Well, minus I'm how sorry. many? Sorry, that is a five. <laughs> if, you, if you take away the three. Seven. Nineteen. August. Uh, no, I'm good. Fortunately, the bookworm Robert of Zeppelin. Well, clearly they've gone to the estuary <laughs> with the riding lizard. It's uh, what was that old game game show on TV where the dictionary was that what it was where the things that move. It wasn't oh. concentration, but you had to no, figure out. No, it was the, the other one, was. yeah. Uh. So Robert has uh, successfully figured it out. It is night, uh, so you can stay or and go in the morning. Uh, no, I will risk it. I'm heading. <laughs> there are four of you. Who wants to do the survival role? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do survival. Uh, fine, I'll do survival. I only got a plus one, but I'll roll it. I got a Haggis plus is two. Good at survival. 21. How much, what do you got, Haggis? Plus he rolled five? a 21. That was the way. It's going to take you guys about an hour to catch up with Leaf, Copious, and uh, the Riding Lizard, pir piloted by the, the best gnome you'll ever find. Um, so... Uh, what time is it? 6.13. Uh, Leaf, Copious, uh, you will arrive first uh, in the dark. Do you guys see... Do you guys have dark vision? I do. Okay. Uh, there's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you have what found... A surprise. You have found your boat. Um, but it appears to have sustained some damage. Can we tell what kind of damage it has sustained? Uh, it looks like ballista bolts are stuck in the roof. Of, of the ship or our... Uh, the ship, okay. Of the ship. Is so it still it, afloat? It is still afloat, but it is grounded. Uh, grounded on the side of the water we're on? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at Tony Dakota and say, <laughs> were you guys attacked before? You left the ship, or is that new? Oh, uh, that would be new. <laughs> All right. Uh, how good a visibility do we have of the ship from where we're at? You, you now you may go right up on it. However, if there are any predators there, they will see you coming. I, I want to observe the ship for a short period of time just to see if I see anything wandering around the ship. Investigation roll, please. Seven. Oh, good lord. You don't see squat. Now we're looking at the side that's, is, I assume, is up uh, against the shore, or is a bow against the shore. What are we seeing here? It's kind of tilted, like it got dragged up. <clears throat> okay. Tony and the uh, twins will tell you uh, we had it anchored there uh, when it was uh, low tide. I'm going to I'm going to tell Leaf. Listen, I'm going to try to uh, make my way stealthily in the shadows towards the ship and see if I can get close enough to see if it's if it's damaged on the the underwater part of the ship, uh, sure. below sea level, just to make sure All it's right. still seaworthy or as well as I can. I'll keep an eye on it. As you get up there, Copius, you notice that the long spears are marked with feathers, and you recall that you've seen this somewhere before. This is the mark of a tabaxi attack. Oh, criminy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sneak all the way up to the ship, uh, again, looking for anything, and then if I'm going to look to see if the um, hatches are open on the ship. Well, yeah, because they're getting high on their own stash. The hatches are not open. I'm going to open one. I'm going to try to find one of the hatches uh, and open it. Uh, seems to be stuck. Crazy. All right. Um, 
I'll move. If that one doesn't want to open, I'm going to move to another one and try it before trying to force one. See if I can find one that's open. Well, D12, open easier. D12 against me. Three. Eleven. Uh, Tony yells, hey, we locked those hatches. <laughs> <laughs> Tony! Unlock uh, one, Tony. What? <laughs> How, do you unlock him? How do you I, unlock them, Tony? I think, wing! <laughs> <laughs> Comes up, sticks his hand underneath the hatch. All right. Thanks, Tony. Uh, You're welcome. I'll, I'm going to hold the door open. Said, get you, it bad. Go, go ahead and go in there. Um, let's get in there and see what the damage looks like. I'll see if you'll fall for it. Go in first. Sure, he'll go in first. All right. I'm just going to walk through the ship, make sure it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be taking on water or anything. And if, if it's not, I'm going to uh, wave to uh, Leaf and the rest of the crew, tell them to come on down to the ship. Leaf, you see this. Because <laughs> you can't see that far in the dark. Uh, that's why I wasn't sure how far out he was. If I can't see him, I'll walk back to where I can get to him. Yeah, you can. Okay. All he right. says it's I'll clear. Up the ship. I'm going to look at it and see how far up on shore is it. You said it's the ground. I, I assume it's... Uh, you and Copious give me wisdom checks. <clears throat> oh, okay. That's not a strong suit of mine. Ooh, decent roll. 17. 20. Uh... what did you guys say and the twins said it was fine when we did it when we anchored it at low tide uh, anchored it at high tide the tide the, tide the tide came in and <laughs> yeah so you guys are gonna have to wait till high tide wait till high tide and, and hopefully it breaks so far enough out that we let's go ahead and get the stuff moved onto the ship yeah, let's get everything loaded onto the ship. And I'm going to look at Leaf and, and say, um, if he, he's identified that we need to wait for high tide, uh, if there's any doubt about whether or not we'll be able to get it off, is it, does he think it's possible to use Lizard and the guys to try to move it farther down <laughs> to, uh, towards the surf before the tide comes in? Survival right. check, Leaf. That would be 21. Ah, uh, yeah, you you have a relatively good feeling about the tide being able to move it. If not, uh, certainly the riding lizard could uh, push it over. Once we start okay. to get some water coming up, we use the lizard. Okay. Yep. Tony confirms that the other two latches are also similarly locked, and it does not appear as though entry was made. All right. All right. Well, that's something anyway. He points out, I don't like to leave things unlocked. <laughs> I'd like to point out too. Where are the tabaxi that shot the ballista bolts into the ship? Not here. Not here right now. That's more uh, a rhetorical I'm question. I'd like to know where they're at before so we I, get. Uh, let's make sure we're posting guard up top uh, in the crow's nest there, watching out just to make sure. We'll while we do that, and I'm going to rest. Seaward and landward sides. I mean, cool. Uh, the twins? Yeah. That'll work. Keep an eye out. Make sure nothing's coming up on us. Seems like a good idea. And it also seems like a good spot to stop for the yeah. night. Uh, senior, what'd you think? Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I think the bar scene went exactly as I thought it would when they all decided to go in the place. No surprises there. <laughs> I was really shocked they took that bait. <laughs> you were? I, you know, you put that bait out there because you knew they would take it. I knew as soon as I said gambling, one of them would Hell take it. I, yeah. I did not anticipate Manfang jumping. Manfang well, jump, jumping running. on the woman of ill repute was a little surprise. I'm going to go up and talk to his grandmother about it here in just hey, a moment. Hey, <laughs> don't tell grandma. Haggis and Manfang, you're welcome. I've ruined your lives. Uh, Haggis, what'd you think? Thanks. What else is there to say? It's Mr. Five Dexterity. <laughs> we'll get to your dad in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, hey, you know what? Live and learn. You just yeah. don't you don't you don't <laughs> say everything that's on your mind ever. That's a really bad idea. Uh AJ, what'd you think? <laughs> I had a good time, but I'm pissed that I lost 50 gold pieces in the bar paying for drinks. I was intending to go back and try to use a sleight of hand to pick them back up, but you know. Somebody set the intervened. place on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Speaking oh, well. of somebody setting it on fire, Robert. <laughs> Well, you know, I just think it's funny how I wasn't the one starting all this. I was just there. I observed. I stood in the doorway and waited. And when I saw trouble, I moved in and tried to solve it in a non-flammable way. And then Mr. Daggers comes out. And I'm like, well, you know, we got blood on our hands now. And, you know, my old saying is, you know, burn this shit down. Uh, No, I thought it was no witnesses. Well, there's lots of witnesses now. There's a lot of witnesses. Haggis. To Haggis, because he was the last one out. He's going to be their face that they remember. There's He's going to be on wanted posters. He and strange caricatures of a fuzzy baby-looking creature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jason, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, a Copious will be maligned un- unfairly just because he looks like a, a shellless turtle baby, but... The, the bar scene went exactly like we thought it was going to go. Yeah. You know, once once you go down that path, it's like, yeah, we've been through this before. We know what's That's about right. to happen. I, I, I had the box. I had the goods. Copious had a mission to deliver and get his cash. That's the whole reason we were here. Yep. Uh, Man Fang, how much money did you get for going in and getting probed by everybody? Big zero. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Same shape of his to probing hole. I, yeah, they, I got groped and didn't even get paid. You know what? And Don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be fallout from this particular yeah. episode anyway. You know, at the rate that, that we're going, best. you're going to have to expand the world. So we've got a place to go to. Yeah. At a this place point, to hide. I wonder, how many, <laughs> I wonder how many scars I can collect on my body. Because now I got a whole a scar and just look like Actually, an eggshell oh, bed normally. We're going to tattoo the world map on your body, and then that way the wounds will just be places we can't go. Yeah. 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 There are, there are 22 nations in Margu. You've been to four of them, and two of them you aren't allowed back. We're good. We're good. I'm sure the Amazonian ladies are going to be thrilled to no end to meet you guys. Ooh, <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. we're I'll gonna let have... them touch. I'll let them touch my hole for free. We, uh, see right there. That's the kind of language we're going to have to talk about before we go to Amazonia. Yep. Yeah. By I, I can see three of these That's characters that we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, it's, we're gonna have one of those sexual harassment seminars for Dean <laughs> before we. It's go. like the one. It's like the one from like Sonic that they used to put on TV. It's like if you are touched in a way that you do not feel correct, or what was it? It's like the one with Sonic. Yes, the good touch, bad touch. You yes. are the entire bad touch. <laughs> I am. <bad. laughs> Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you, most importantly, you know, forget about all that other crap. If you want to be on the show, let us know. Uh, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, uh, we'll get you on here and you can be just as in trouble as man fang and hag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't forget to check out Odd Fish Games for stuff. Folks, let's wave and get the hell out of here. Oh, happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah.